Oh. Why do these all look so cursed? There's literally a prop fighter in here. No. I am a hoe for Facebook Marketplace. Being Canadian, I grew up buying and selling on Kijiji. I've always been a thrifter, and I feel like Facebook Marketplace is like the digital online catalog of thrifted items, weird shit, and secondhand treasures and things to find. It can be uh, definitely full of weird shit for sure. Like let's let's not get it twisted. There's some weird shit on Facebook Marketplace, but there's also some treasures and some gold. I feel like my two go-tos when I'm just like bored surfing the web are looking at houses on Zillow and looking for the weirdest thing I could possibly find on Facebook. So today, let's go see if we can find something weird, someone else's trash that we can make into our treasure and flip. These are cute. Whenever I see like free cute stuff, I'm like, oh, this is definitely gone in like six seconds. Ooh, this Mickey Mouse jacket is like kind of fire. Not what we're looking for, but so cute. Okay, we've got statues. I feel like statues is a category where you're always gonna find some weird shit. This is quite pretty. I would say I would not even know where to start in terms of like flipping this into something more appropriate for my home, but it's a piece of decor. It's a thing. Oh my god, I almost just died. I thought these were puppies. I thought I should have thought that these were puppies for sale. These are quite adorable. Please don't buy your dog off Facebook Marketplace. Please, please don't buy your dog off Facebook Marketplace. Oh my god, $20 for this mirror? This must be an optical illusion. I bet it's actually much. Yeah, okay. It's 28 inches large. Why does this mirror look so gigantic? Wow, what a deal. $150? And a hot girl in the ad? What a deal. Okay, see, when I see stuff like this, like this kid's sofa, on one hand, I'm like, oh my God, I hope this goes to a good home. But also too, I'm like, how many times has this little kid's couch been thrown up on? Oh, these are sponsored. I was gonna say, this is so cute. I just got bamboozled into an ad, but this is a disco Saturn ball. That is cute as shit. Okay, so for $1, we can get teeth, new perfect 2020, <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, let's go under home goods, home decor, a little bit more specific. Why are candy kebabs on here under a home decor? Ooh, a velvet circle mirror. This is actually super cute. Literally, the ad describes it as super cute velvet mirror. How accurate. Vintage cookie jars, absolutely terrifying on the right. And also the Pillsbury dough boy looks a little sketchy as well, but these are quite adorable. These are art. These are art and they're vintage and I, I can't, I can't, I can't fuck with these. Super Mario sculpture, why do these all look so cursed? More sponsored posts, more sponsored posts, more sponsored posts, but nice chihuahua decor. <laughs> I see pieces like this and I'm like, okay, I could spray paint this hot pink and it immediately becomes cute, but that's probably for another day. A $3,500 Mario statue, four feet tall. Wow, what is going on with all these Marios today? This is the shit that I love. Fish pillow, 28 inches, $20. <laughs> Condition used. <laughs> This is the shit I live from Facebook Marketplace. Ooh, a gumball machine. This is kind of fun. This is a really, really big stand. Like, I feel like it's an unnecessarily large stand. Like, I wonder if there's an assortment of gumball <laughs> machines on Facebook. Oh my God. Mini gumball machines, working gumball machine, purple, a wood one, spiral. Oh my God, you can buy a whole ass vending machine? That's wild. Okay, here we go. So we've got the bubble gum machine, vintage, 15 inches. That's like good size. King size and carousel ink, $55 in stock, public meetup, door pickup, used good, color red. Is this our project for the day? Is this it? This might be it. Thank you to BetterHelp for sponsoring today's video. Art and DIYing have always been a form of therapy for me, but nothing will ever compete with talking to a real licensed professional therapist. I always say that finding the right therapist is a lot like dating, except for probably less traumatic. I've worked with over 10 therapists at this point across my 10 years of therapy experience, and they've all provided different but incredible value and the support that I needed when I needed it. BetterHelp is the world's largest 
religious therapy service and 100% online. What I would have given in my early days of therapy to skip the waiting rooms, the long traffic filled drives to and from therapy. It like made me not want to go to therapy when I had to sit in traffic 30 minutes there and 30 minutes back. So having the option to do therapy online has been an absolute game changer for me. BetterHelp has the largest selection of therapists, over 25,000 therapists in their network, tailored to help your specific needs. To get started, just answer a few questions about your preferences in therapy, and BetterHelp can match you with the right therapist. And again, like dating, if it's not the perfect match at first, for free, you can change therapists at any time. You can do therapy via text, chat, phone or video call, message your therapist at any time and schedule live sessions when it's convenient for you. Get 10% off your first month of therapy at betterhelp.com slash lorediy. That's betterhelp.com slash lorediy. And I also have a link in the description. Hello, we are on route to go pick up our gumball machine. I've got my safety Jeremy in the car. Please bring a... <laughs> a secondary being with you um, while going to meet strangers because I think I am going to this man's house. It is absolute ass weather right now. We're about to go drive 23 minutes to get a gumball machine. I'm so excited. So excited. Oh God, this flash makes my car look really dirty and my leggings look really linty. <laughs> Goodbye, $55, the basic marketplace. Wow. She's beautiful. She's beautiful. I can't believe Elvis Presley used this gumball machine. Oh my God, that's so crazy. I know. Can I wrap her? Oh, oh. money. Yes. I literally just put this up onto the table and I saw dust fly off of it. <laughs> Here she is, our old new gumball machine in all of her glory. I'm so excited. It's so vintagey looking and you can tell that like there's actually been use, which I actually don't know how I feel about it, but you know what? That's the beauty of a secondhand piece of decor. It's authentic. Okay, so here's the game plan. I bought 50 disco balls to put inside because I'm not really a gum, like who actually likes gumballs? Let's be so totally honest. Who the f choose actual gumballs? No one, no one, right? Like actually no one. So instead of gumballs, I've got 50 disco balls, which I got this and I was like, I think I need a hundred more. So now I have 150 disco balls, but now I'm like, no wonder I never won any of those like jelly bean guessing contests because this looks like 14 disco balls to me. So um, I guess let's see if it works. I'm assuming that this is just how this comes off. Oh, there's literally a spider. There's literally a spider in here. No, ah, ah, do you see it? It's red. Ah, okay, got it. We're good, we're good. Just, it's, um, you know, it's like a reward. Oh, oh, if it goes here, you put this in. Oh. Am I stupid? <laughs> Do you know what? Don't answer. <laughs> oh my God, there's a bonus quarter in here. So he gave us a spider, but we did get an extra 25 cents. Anyways, okay, she's functioning. The money drops. Could be a business opportunity. This makes everything so much easier. I was like not entirely sure how I was gonna cover all of the pieces while I spray painted, but this is incredible. So I think step one is gonna be to clean her off because I can imagine just how many grubby little fingers have been all over this gumball machine in its lifespan. This is a gloves on kind of moment, I think. Oh, there's a little butterfly on here. How like kind of borderline sexist that they're assuming it's a woman cleaning. <laughs> I also got some aluminum and like metal polishing because this is like a real like matte silver. I'm really nervous I'm gonna apply some of this to this and it's gonna be like a shiny bright silver. But I'm hoping that this is just like the the final and we'll just give it a little, a little quick little rinse wash. <laughs> I've never used a metal polish before. Oh, I'm just scared this is gonna just go immediately black. 
The other option we have uh, is that we could just spray paint right on top of it. I was planning on keeping it silver, but it's looking not as metallic as I would have liked and more just like kind of dirty, honestly. I'm torn on what to do, but everything's feeling cleaner, which is nice. I'm gonna start taping things off so we can start spray painting. I feel like these are just like my new hands now. Here are the colors that I'm thinking. I wanna start with like this salmon-y color on top and then work my way down to I think a pink, purple, blue maybe? I thought about keeping some of the classic red, but I just feel like we just like go full send and make it really cute. Okay, so let's peel some of this tape off. This is like one of the most satisfying parts, I feel like. So I've gone back and forth on the best approach for this. And like, I think it looks okay with it being just kind of like this flat. Actually, it's kind of, it's kind of nice. I've got some silver paint. I've got silver spray paint as well too, but I think taping off like this whole area, I'm worried about it pulling up the other spray paint that we just laid down. Maybe we'll just do like a tiny little test on the side of it and see how shiny and metallic this is. Just to like give it like a fresh coat, you know? Mm, see, I don't know, I don't know. But do we like that it's like a little vintagey? I'm having decision paralysis. I have deep, deep, deep decision paralysis right now. Decision paralysis sometimes leads me down the wrong path, but this was this is the right path. I feel good about this. I'm also wildly curious to see how many disco balls are gonna end up fitting in here, but I'm so excited to put this back together. Okay, brain does not compute, but I don't think I need this. Like, I think this is probably to hold the gumballs down. And honestly, looking at it right now, it is so yellowed, and I can see that it started out as a gray color. Let this whole video be a reminder to you that whatever is happening in any kind of candy machine out in the wild, we maybe don't want to eat that. I don't think I need this piece though. It's kind of ugly and disgusting. This is actually gonna go straight into the trash. All right, problem solved. So that makes sense. And then disco balls and this goes on here and then we're done. Okay, if you want to take a moment in the comments and guess how many disco balls are gonna fit into here, you're not gonna win anything, but maybe this will be redemption towards your ego from like those grade four competitions when you guessed how many jelly beans went into a container. I was never even close. Okay, if this is 50. I'm gonna guess 112. I've got 150. Okay, here we go. Oh, <laughs> I think it's gonna be more than that. Oh my God, I hope I have enough. Okay. <laughs> 50. Okay, 100. <laughs> it's like half full. I think we're going all 150. <laughs> They're all gonna fit. If you guessed 150 or up, you would be correct. Wow, that looks so cute though. You know what? It kind of looks like strategically not full and that's exactly what I was going for. And from a germy Facebook marketplace, $55 gumball machine to art. Art that's gonna sit in my office and probably never dispense anything ever again. You know what, as it probably shouldn't because we didn't do a great job cleaning the inside. If you are in the LA area and you're bored and you're on Facebook Marketplace and there's something really weird that you think that I could flip, send me a link on Instagram or Twitter and I will go out into the world and uh, buy it and flip it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you on Tuesday for a new episode of Wild Till 9 over on the vlog channel and again next Sunday. Bye guys.